a good spot. Oh, hey guys, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to show you my wardrobe space. This is something I worked on as soon as I moved back home from uni because the clothing situation was, yeah, it was not good. So I feel like every girl's dream is to have a walk-in wardrobe or a built-in wardrobe. I didn't like the cost of what that was gonna be. And I'm also just such a sucker for Ikea furniture. I think it's so reasonably priced. Um, I love the brand. I can build it on my own. <laughs> and yeah, I just really enjoy doing a job on my own without having the help of someone else. I had a little bit of help building some of these um, <laughs> because they were huge. I will link below the wardrobes because they're just so great. You can really customise them to how you want them to be. So you can buy the frame and then you can buy the door separately and there's lots of different colours but I went with all white and I love the sort of panelling effect that they have. And then the handles were literally one pound for a pair which is insane. <laughs> so yeah, obviously three wardrobes, three big wardrobes, it's not going to be cheap but it's so much cheaper than like designing a built-in wardrobe and blah 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 and it's kind of scary how quickly I filled them up I was gonna get rid of my two chests of drawers but I actually still have them in this room as well I put those over there but that bit is a mess and up the top there are storage boxes from Ikea I'll get one down to show you guys so this is what it looks like <laughs> It's just got a little handle at the front and you can unscrew it. This one has my hats in it, which is actually so perfect for my hats. So I just have them stacked on top of each other. And then in the other ones, I've just got things like winter bedding, like my flannelette bedding that's really heavy and takes up a lot of space. Because I actually didn't have these for a while, these boxes, and then I just hated the wasted space on the top and they just fill it perfectly. So they kind of look even more built in now with those on top, which is great. So anyway, I'm going to get started and show you guys what is in each of my wardrobes. So there we go, there's a better look at the three wardrobes. Quite a lot of space. So this is the first wardrobe, and this has all of my jumpers in it at the top and then down below it has all of my shorter coats and jackets so I've got like my big puffy coats hidden in here my fluffy ones some jumpers that don't fit at the top and then I've got all my denim jackets here some leather jackets my sort of aviator jackets and then at the end is like checked jacket and raincoats so that's where I keep most of my jackets and then up here in trying to keep it color coordinated um, I have all my jumpers right at the very end I have all my mohair jumpers because mohair gets everywhere and then moving on I've got my cashmere jumpers and my blue jumpers um, and then it kind of just goes like blue pink neutral gray and then at this end I have sweatshirts. Yeah, this is how I've had my jumpers organised over the last few months and it works really well. It doesn't tend to get too muddled up actually, which is really good. As long as I remember to put things away, then everything's fine. So yeah, that is what's in wardrobe number one. So this is the middle wardrobe and this kind of has my everyday go-to pieces, which are tops and jeans. So it kind of goes in order from like loungewear t-shirts to stripy t-shirts, stripy long sleeve, long sleeve <laughs> t-shirts, shirts and fancy sort of blouses um, and then right at the end I keep my hoodies. I am really not a hoodie type of person like I just find them very tricky to wear I much prefer sweatshirts to hoodies although my favourite one has to be this one. This is the coziest hoodie I have ever owned. It has fleece lining inside as well. It's great because I get cold so quickly. Like I'm quite cold right now because I'm wearing jeans that have rips in them. <laughs> my legs are chilly. And then panning down we have my favourite part. This 
is the denim and trouser section. My favourite. <laughs> so right at the end I have skirts and shorts. And then I hang up my trousers a little bit like this. <laughs> so this one has a lot on it because it's mainly just got like flared leggings. And then a random pink jean. So that's how all of these have been hung up. So I have trousers at this end. And then this is where the denim starts and these are all jeans. <laughs> and yes, I have a denim addiction, but I wear denim pretty much every day. This is one of my favorite sections, the flared section. So these are my favorite flares at the moment. They're from AOLA. And they were a little bit expensive, but I just I love them so much. So that is my denim section. And then right at the end here, I have my black denim and a few like random faux leather trousers. Time for the next one. So this is my last wardrobe. And in here, I keep longer items. So all the other wardrobes I had a top and a bottom rail, but for this one I decided to just have the top rail. So yeah, in this one I have like my favorite coats and my long coats and obviously long dresses. And because this one opens a bit awkwardly, I keep things that don't need to be reached as much right in the corner. This is one of my favorite coats at the moment. This is from Topshop and it's just like a very long aviator jacket. And this, I recently rejigged this one a little bit because it had a few coats that were just sort of hidden because I had all my like summer dresses right at this end. And now it's not summery anymore, so don't need those. Uh, so had to have a move around and I found this jacket hiding. I picked this up on Depop a while ago, but I just love it so much, it's so 70s. So I put it there to remind myself to wear it. And then there is a big mess underneath it of my bags. <laughs> Down there, I keep most of my bags. These are most of my bigger bags actually. And then my little ones are in a drawer underneath my bed. So there we have it, that is my wardrobe tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got a little bit of inspiration if you're looking to update your wardrobe situation. Or even if you just want to rejig the way you organize your clothes, I do find colors and types very easy to sort out that way, if that makes sense. <laughs> I also just wanted to show you how like, easy it is to have really cool looking built-in wardrobes that aren't built in that you can do on your own, that don't like completely break the bank. Like they were expensive, but not like built-in wardrobe expensive. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.